Another weather-related story for you. Take a look at this flooding in New Mexico. Social media video shows how a street in Roswell turned into a river after several inches of rain. One person died and hundreds were rescued on Saturday, according to the New Mexico National Guard. And the vast majority of Americans do not have flood insurance, but after the recent hurricanes making landfall in the U.S., more homeowners may want to consider adding coverage to their policy. ABC's Perry Russell has tips to keep in mind when shopping for flood insurance. Hurricanes Helene and Milton brought devastating flooding to the southeast, leaving many homes and the belongings inside destroyed. Now those families will be looking to rebuild and replace those items. And for those without flood insurance, repairs could cost them a pretty penny. FEMA says up to $25,000 for just one inch of flood water. A lot of people that are at risk of flooding do not currently have flood insurance coverage. Most homeowners insurance does not cover flood damage. Across the country, only 4% of homeowners have flood insurance, according to FEMA. If you're in the market for a flood insurance policy, Nerd Wallet's Kimberly Palmer says it's not cheap. It's pretty expensive. So on average, it costs just over $800 a year. So it's something to consider in the overall cost of your homeowner's policies. The government has a national flood insurance program, and you can also get it from private insurers. Palmer says you'll want to shop around for the best offer that's right for you. So you want to go to a comparison website, type in your information. Because flood insurance rates are so individual and based on where you live, the characteristics of your house, you can enter that information and get some personalized quotes just so you have an idea of what you can expect to pay. And then you can read all the fine print and really understand what's covered and what's not covered. And consider taking a few preventative steps around your home to get the lowest rate possible. Filling in a basement or a crawl space can actually reduce your flood insurance rate. If you raise up big units like an air conditioning unit, a heating unit, raising them up so they're higher, it reduces their risk of getting damaged. So that can actually also reduce your flood insurance rate. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.